have you ever had those times where you go fishing and uh yeah you just don't catch much well hopefully today's not that day you know it's even more frustrating when you got a buddy uh that you go fishing with a lot you kind of have a little uh friendly competition with and he catches fish all the time check this out well hopefully today won't be like that I'm gonna go out here first light. I'm giving myself all the benefits of the doubt. First light, high tide, uh, no wind. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I got my buddy Chris right there. He's ahead of me, of course, trying to get the head start to the fishing spots. Yeah, we're gonna put it on him today. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna catch up with Chris, um, my partner over there. He's gonna um, fish a couple spots that we know of. See what we can find in there, and I'm gonna make my way closer to him because I know his secrets. I ain't gonna tell him that though. So yeah, we're gonna go right around here. I'm gonna try these this side of the island. My buddy Chris is trying that side of the island, so I'm gonna see if, uh, if I can find something on here. Look how beautiful the water looks today. It's all calm. You can see the bait fish kind of popping around a little bit, so uh, I think that's a good sign. I don't know. You tell me. A good sign when you see bait. I think so. Now I know there's a little point right here. Let's see what we can do here. Got one on, bud. Yeah. Got one on, let's don't lose them. Yeah. Yes. Nice red fish. Nice red fish. All right, guys, check that out. First fish on the boat. Not a big one, but a nice red fish. Look at that, aren't you pretty? Let's take this out your mouth. Look at that beautiful fish. That, that tail is beautiful, huh? All right, guy, I'm gonna let you go. First fish on the boat. We ain't been out here probably 30 minutes. Awesome day so far. There he goes, fresh release. So what I'm using today so far, uh, just to kind of give you an idea, I'm using one of our new paddle tails. Uh, this is the blue crab version, and I'm using an owner uh, jig or whatever that owner makes. I'm not using mine yet, so I started out this morning with this one to see what happens. Uh, for my pole and rod, I'm using a baitcaster. It's a Daiwa uh, TSW or, or TWS 7.3 really good rod i just picked this up off of facebook and i'm using a berkeley uh, lightning rod this is a seven foot medium action all right guys back to the fishing Uh, pretty wildlife. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Oh, he's dragging the boat a little bit. Oh, yeah. What we got? I think it's another red. Another red. Yes, sir. Yes, look at that beautiful fish. All on the boat. Oh, he's a little bigger than the last one. Not much bigger, but he is bigger. Got a two spotter right there. Look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful fish. See right there, caught him on that blue crab, baby. Blue crab paddle tail. So he got one spot on this side and he has two on the other, total of three spotter. Look at that beautiful, beautiful fish. 
All right, guys, we're gonna let him go. All right, see if you can get you some air. Oh, fresh release. So I want you guys to check this out. So far, two fish I caught on the blue crab, four inch paddle tail. That's our new paddle tail. That's the tail right there. Uh, if you notice, she's still in excellent, excellent condition. Two fish and we're uh, continuing on with our uh, adventures here. So where I caught that fish was, it was right there. If you look at the tip of my rod, right about there. He was right there, almost between those uh, two sticks there. So yeah, the bites slowed down a little bit for me. Uh, still beautiful out here. Hey, let's see what Chris is up to. Yo, Chris, what's up, brother? Uh, any more bites? Uh, no, I just caught the two redfish so far. How about you? Just the one flounder. Nice. I think we passed everything up to get back there too soon. Yeah. Right now. What do you think the game plan is? What do you want to do? You want to go back to the back or you want to try uh, to? I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to work this uh, current coming through right here. See if I can get some trout from it. All right. And as the tide comes in, it's not high tide to 940, which is two more hours. All right. So, so you want to stay here around the toilet bowl? See what you think? Uh, you want to stay around the toilet bowl? Well, that's what I'm gonna do. Then I want to work some of that more of that area. Yeah, I was having pretty good luck between those, in between those two little like little islands. Two islands right there. Yeah, where the water's kind of flowing through. I was trying to hit those areas to see if uh, I caught anything. I caught a nice, uh, pretty good size, probably 18 inch red. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And uh, there was a bunch back there. I should have stopped and fished it, but uh -huh. I passed them up trying to get over here, but it was too shallow. Right. Yeah, there's some moving water over there, so I know that that's where the trout like to hang out. Yeah, I know over there near the toilet bowl, uh, Snook has been hanging out, or um, Snook and the uh, tarpon uh -huh. have been hanging out over there. Yeah, I'd love to catch a tarpon right now. Huh? I would love to catch a tarpon right now. That's my, that's my Snook nemesis. Yeah, I see the manatee right there. Uh, that's my nemesis right now, is trying to catch a uh, tarpon from a kayak. Yeah. <laughs> we could go head that way and see if we can... Uh... Let's do it. So I'm going to just let the wind take me back here. Right around this corner, right at where this uh, ends, uh, is where I caught that snook. And a couple months back, I actually landed one back here as well, so hopefully... I can get you guys a catch. So yeah, I just had one roll right here. I don't know what it was. But he rolled. I see the whole side of that fish. Let's get him. Let's get him. Hey, check out this big ass mammoth tea. Mammoth tea, oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna run him. I'm gonna tap him. He's cool. Look at that big old mammoth tea. Damn! You're gonna flip me, watch. <laughs> Hold on. I got a manatee uh, passing by. <laughs> well, so far today I've caught two. Uh, I'm gonna see what Chris is all about. Let's see what he's up to. Alright, what do we have here? Nice little flounder. <clears throat> there you go, guys. Little flounder. Alright guys, oh it's a jack, Boo.
Yes, sir. Oh, man. That's a big gun. That is a big one, guys. Look at this monster. Whoo. He inhaled this blue crab paddle tail. Look at this beast, guys. Look at that monster. All right, guys. All right, guys. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, today was a great day on the water. Uh, it, it seems like the first light is what I was missing. So as I got out here, first uh, spot I went to, boom, hooked into a nice little red. He was probably about 15, 16 inches. Then I went down a little further uh, to a couple of the islands and was fishing the, uh, the in between the two little pods of islands where the water was going through and boom, hooked up into uh, what I believe is what about a 19 inch redfish, which was pretty good size uh, for me. And uh, yeah, Chris also did his video and uh, hopefully we'll have some good video on that and we'll put that on our video. And I wanna thank everybody for watching and Dragon Tails fishing out.